Hello, um, my name is Andrew Gladke and um, I'm a painter who makes very sculptural paintings out of oil paint and bamboo sticks. My paintings are made from oil paint and bamboo sticks. Um, the bamboo sticks are the kind of the kind that you might barbecue with. Um, I use them to paint with. I sharpen them to get a good painting point, and then I use them to scoop up um, tiny dabs of oil paint and dab them on in spikes and pull out lines, painting in imagery. Um, but to begin with, um, I the first stage is to build up a sculptural surface. So I'll have the panel that I work on laid flat and I, I'll then squeeze worms of paint straight from the tube and I'll build lattice work structures from the sharpenings from the bamboo stick um, coated in paint and stuck together into these, um, into these structures. Um, once it's be become this strange appealing form that I like the look of or find sinister or um, yeah I will put it upright and start to paint imagery into the, into the surface and then I carry on going back and forth between sculpture and image keeping the two sides separate um, until I reach this um, like juxtaposition place where they're in a straight in an interaction with one another so it's not quite an image and it's not quite a sculptural form they're kind of in conflict with each other the sculptural form breaking apart the image and the image almost trying to hide away and cover over this um, delicate sculptural surface in the current exhibition memories fade soil deepens i'm interested in the point at which images break down um, so I've been using a lot of personal imagery, um, my own photographs and images from memory, from my own life. Um, and I want to push the sculptural side of the work to the point where the imagery becomes difficult to read, starts to distort and change um, and break down from any other angle apart from the uh, the original viewing angle from which I painted it. Um, so you have fam a family group here um, which when you move away from the central position their limbs start to stretch or their gaps in their body opening up. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about how the Sculptural build-up of paint could be seen as the unconscious body of the painting, the physical body, there's just the materials and processes that make it. Um, and I'm interested in this divide within us between our conscious awareness and our unconscious bodies. So our unconscious bodies are like vast things, processing huge amounts of information making decisions and initiating actions and we'll never be aware. We can't be introspect and see all this processing going on, these decisions being made. So we are in a way two people, two people in one, um, never quite whole. And um, when things go wrong, when you get ill or depressed or then can lose track of the um, like our perception like our visual perceptual or selves the images we've built up of our lives and who we are and the physical nature of it can like make itself um, unavoidable I hope that um, visitors who come to this exhibition might um, take away the idea that um, images are never, never quite what they seem. They're never, they're never a part of the natural world. Um, they always want something from you. And perhaps they're best imagined as being living organisms 
which have a physical body that's growing and changing and um, takes up space in the world and occupies people's attention and is always asking something of you, asking you to do something or to think a certain way or to, yeah, to be a certain way. So yeah, I hope that people will think of images more as living organisms with bodies and pres and physical presence in the world. My future plans are, I'm not sure they ever really change much. Um, it's just to keep painting, keep finding the time and space to paint. Um, maybe I'll try and get a live workspace somewhere in there, but just to keep on painting. These take me a long, long time and I, I need to make sure I have that time in my life to keep going. Mm -hmm.